Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we have to find the equation of the tangent lines, given these parametric equations at three different points, 0, 0, negative 3, negative 1, and negative 3, 3. Let's work through it. Solution. So first, we'll start by finding the slope of the tangent lines. So the slope is given by the formula dy dx equals dy dt over dx dt. It's always the change in y over the change in x. So dy dt over dx dt. So dy dt in this case, it's pretty easy to compute. Uh, just use the power rule, right? So it'd be 2t minus 2. So 2t minus 2. And then dx dt is also very simple in this problem. Um, looks like it's just going to be 2t. Oh, wow. Um, we can break this up, right? We can write this as 2t over 2t minus 2 over 2t. This is 1 minus 1 over t, okay? 1 minus 1 over t. Good stuff. All right, so that's, that's going to be our slope. The problem is we need t, right? So to find t, we have to use our points. So let's go ahead and do the first tangent line first. Let's do 0, 0 first. So we're doing 0, 0. So to find t, what we do is, well, we know x is equal to 0. So x is also equal to t squared minus 4. So we just take t squared minus 4 and set it equal to 0. At the same time, we know y is equal to 0. So we take t squared minus 2t and set that equal to 0 as well. So we solve both of these equations simultaneously. So the system of nonlinear equations. The first one is pretty easy to solve. You just add the 4. And then when you take the square root, you do get a plus or minus 2. So you get two possible t values. In the second one, we get t, pull out the t, so you get t minus 2 equals 0, so you get t equals 0, and so you get t equals 2. So the only common solution of both of these is 2. So t is equal to 2, right? So therefore, t, you want the one that, the solution they have in common, right? There's an and here. This is a system of equations. So here you get plus and minus 2, here you get 0 and 2. The only answer they have in common is 2. 2 is a solution to both equations. And you can check, watch, let's do it. If I plug in 2 here, I get 2 squared minus 4, so I get 0. And here I get 4 minus 4, so I get 0 for both, right? I get 0 for both. If I plug in 0 into both, I don't get 0 for both. 2 is the only value of the parameter that works for both equations. So now we can find the slope, dy dx, at the moment when t is equal to 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 half, which is 1 half. And that's our m. That's the value of our slope. So now we can find the tangent line. So to find the tangent line, we use the formula. So y minus y1 equals m, and then x minus x1. So it's y minus 0 equals, and then we said m was 1 half, and then x minus 0. So y is equal to 1 half x. That would be the tangent line at 0, 0. All right, let's do negative 3, negative 1 now. So negative 3, negative 1. Same thing. We take x, which is t squared minus 4, and we set it equal to negative 3. And we take y, which is t squared minus 2t, and we set that equal to negative 1. Okay, and we have to bo solve both of these uh, equations simultaneously at the same time. So in the first case, we add 4. Oh, how nice. So you get t squared equals 1. Taking the square root, that gives us plus or minus 1. In the second case, we add 1. So we get t squared minus 2t plus 1 equals 0. This factors, right? It's t minus 1 quantity squared equals 0. So we get the answer of 1. So again, the question becomes, what answers do they have in common, right? So t equals 1, right? t equals 1 is a solution to both equations. So that's the value of our parameter. So in this case, dy dx, when t is equal to 1, right, going back to our derivative here, you would just get 1 minus 1 over 1. So you just get 1 minus 1. So you get 0. So we have a slope of 0. We have a slope of 0. So then using our point, we would have y minus, so this is our y1, so it'll be plus 1 equals 0 times x plus 3, right, because it's negative and negative. 
So we get y plus 1 equals 0, so y equals negative 1. In fact, we didn't even need to do this, right? Because look, we have a slope of 0, and we know it passes through this point. So if it passes through, let me scroll down and show you, if it passes through this point, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, and it has a slope of 0, it must be a horizontal line there, right? So it must be y equals negative 1, so you have the answer. The last one is negative 3, 3. Let's go ahead and do it. Going kind of fast because there's three tangent lines. <laughs> so again, you take your x, t squared minus 4, and you set it equal to negative 3. Then you take your y, which is t squared minus 2t, and you set it equal to 3. It's good to do three examples, though. That way, hopefully, you get it. Add 4, you get 1. Again, take the square root, you get plus or minus 1. Subtract 3, so you get t squared minus 2t minus 3 equals 0. Okay, so this should factor, I hope. Uh, I haven't thought about it yet, but let's see. Uh, yeah, minus 3 plus 1. So we get negative 1 and 3. So the answer they have in common is t equals negative 1. That's the answer they have in common in this case, right? So again, now we find dy dx when t is equal to negative 1. So this is 1 minus, and then it's 1 over negative 1. So it's 1 plus 1, so it's 2. So m is 2 in this case. And then so to finish, we would use our beautiful formula. So this is our x1, this is our y1. So it's y minus y1, so y minus 3, equals 2, that's our m, and then x minus x1, so x plus 3. Right, because it's y minus y1 equals m, and then x minus x1. So you get y minus 3 equals 2x plus 6, right? 2 times 3 is 6. Add the 3, so you get y equals 2x plus 9. And that's it. I kind of rushed through a lot of the steps in this video, but it's already 7 minutes. But we did find, we found three tangent lines, right? We found three tangent lines, so hopefully uh, this has been helpful. That's it.